we've gone over how to write the chemical formula with the charge value for monoatomic ions. Now let's go over how to write a name when you have a monoatomic ion. Starting with the cations. Remember the cations are positive charge. So we're going for the monoatomic ions that are positively charged. So when you have metals, that's uh, a, a series metals, you're going to use the name of the element. Doesn't get any easier than that. So those metals that form positive charge, 1A, 2A, and 3A, that was Na+, Ca2+, and Al3+, that we looked at. Uh, this is the sodium ion, is called the same name as the element sodium. So it is an ion to distinguish it from the element, but it can actually just be called just sodium. This is calcium ion, and this also, though it is an ion, I'll put in parentheses, can just be called calcium. And this is the aluminum ion, Al plus, or Al3+, plus, and it is an ion, but the name of it is just aluminum. So the names of those ions are just the name of the element. Now, you also have uh, what are called polyvalent. Um, this is these are metals that are still to the left of the stair step line, um, but these are from the B series. Okay, so for these, we didn't talk about the charge value yet. We didn't talk about the name either. But anything from the B series, we cannot predict the charge value um, because they often form more than one charge value. Okay, so um, you have to memorize these pairs. This is what's listed here is that uh, there are lots of lots of these in the periodic table, but these are the ones you guys are responsible for in Chem 9. And these are um, on your Chem 9 like cheat sheet, and so you should uh, have this to refer to for any quiz or Quizlet, homework, uh, assignment. But this is when you are given chromium, Cr, chromium forms these two ions, which are plus 2 and plus 3. Okay, uh, Copper, Cu, forms two possible main ions, which are plus one, or just plus, and plus two. And iron, which is Fe, forms two main ions, plus two and plus three. And lead forms two main ions, plus two and plus four. And tin forms two main ions, plus two and plus four. There are two elements that are in the B series that don't form more than one ion, and that's zinc. Zinc always forms the plus two, and silver always forms the plus one. If you have anything in family A, uh, in the B series, like family iron, is in family 8B. When you look at the number at the top of the column where iron or Fe is, um, it's not going to form a plus one. Not form plus. It's not a plus eight. Okay. You have this pair, which is that iron Fe forms either Fe plus two, which you could also write as 2 plus or Fe plus 3, which you could also write as 3 plus. Okay, um, the thing is, is these both cannot be named iron ion, just like so sodium can be called sodium ion, but iron has two possible ions. So therefore, we have what's called the stock system, um, which is a Roman number in parentheses to indicate the charge value. It's called the stock system. And it's used for metals that can form more than one charge. So metals that form more than one charge, you have these pairs to deal with. And um, the stock system, you have the Roman number in parentheses is equal to the value of the charge. And this is in the name. Okay, so this goes in the name of the cation. So for iron plus two, the name is iron with a Roman number two. This is the stock system, put the Roman number in parentheses. Or iron plus three, this is iron with a Roman number three in parentheses. So this is iron three. So here you have the name, and this is the uh, ion with the charge value. 
So unlike the simple A series, you can't just predict from the element name, you actually have to add a little bit more to it. You also have what's called the common system. Uh, the, the common name, these are going back to their Latin or Roman or historic names, and that actually helps you understand a little bit the uh, element symbols. So iron is not the symbol IR, but it's FE because it comes from the Latin name ferrous and ferric for those ions. So chromium um, is, is CR, that's more predictable, but copper comes from its Latin names cuprous and cupric for those ions. Or lead is um, plumbus and plumbic in, uh, for the element symbol PB that represents lead. And remember that uh, from an earlier lecture that pipes used to be made out of lead, and so plumbers that worked on pipes made out of lead were coming from this plum, uh, this word root. And then tin is um, plus two or plus four, and that would be um, explaining the stannous and stannic, the common names which give rise to the element symbol SN.